overflows. Understanding the gravitational pull of sex. Sex is the lowest center. In human psychology, sex represents the earth element. The gravitational force of earth center has the strongest pull on human consciousness. Understanding the gravitational pull of this existential bioenergy that we know as sex is the first step in the process of transformation. Understanding is the seed of awakening and transformation is the fragrance or aura of awakening. Thus, understanding, awakening and transformation are three steps each seeker has to go through to transcend the life as you know beyond to reach life eternal and finally to open the vast cosmic space of operation that we know as life beyond. Each psychocenter has a gravitational force that affects the human consciousness differently. The gravitational pull of the sex center pulls human consciousness downwards and this process continues until a greater force is exerted on consciousness to come out of the orbit of this gravitational pull of the lower center and reach within the orbit of another center. Sex is the lowest center in, in human psychology. Sex represents the earth element. The gravitational force of sex center has the strongest pull on human consciousness than any other center. It continues to pull your consciousness towards it. This gravitational force has formed an elliptical orbit with shortest and farthest distance. The shortest distance when your consciousness moves in the orbit we know as love and the farthest distance of consciousness in the orbit we know as hate and human consciousness and also your life continues to move between these two poles love and hate because you are continuously pulled by the gravitational force of the sex center you want to know how you can go beyond this pull. To transcend the gravitational pull of the sex center, you need greater force. Between the two gravitational pull, there comes a point of balance, of neutral zone, when the two gravitational force are in balance completely. It is like the no war zone between two armies or the Lagrange point between two gravitational force as it is known in astrophysics. It is this zone where the consciousness can stay without being affected by the two pulls, pull of the sex center and pull of the next higher center. We can give name to each such zone between two psychic psychocenters, Lagrange point, L1, L2, L3, etc. In the act of sex, there are two participants, male and female. Both have to discover their own Lagrange points of consciousness once each has discovered these two Lagrange points, then the two have to discover the common Lagrange point within their consciousness at the moment when they are engaged in the act of sex. Only then they can move from peak experience to the valley experience. Such is the science of the act of sex. Sex, as you know, is darkness and you are in the dark cave is striving to come out. This will 
require a total trust, awakening, commitment and understanding and total participation in this existential bioenergy. This process is known as meditation. Being meditative during the process of sex needs your total participation. Meditation means being within the energy field of the one whose energy has transcended this gravitational force of the earth or nafs or sex center. You have to be meditation means within being within the energy field of one whose energy field has transcended this gravitational force of earth or nafs or sex center and dwells in the vast open cosmic horizon, cosmic space, you need certitude that ultimately life will begin to shine and win over darkness. Lead me from darkness to light. This should be the way of involving in the act under the guidance of the one who has reached. Should it be so, then how often one should engage in the, in the act of sex to help in meditation process to transcend beyond this gravitational force, not disturb this process and develop the force within to offset first and then transcend the gravitational force. So first of all, you have to the neutralize this force and then and only then you can go beyond this. This has to go through four phases. The first phase is very difficult. As a result, no one ventures. This is groundbreaking phase. This is very rough. This is followed by second phase. When you are at the peak, then hold yourself as that peak attitude at that peak attitude. This phase we know as peak holding phase. At the peak attitude, you require fine tuning or fine breaking phase. The last phase is unique. Then your consciousness is at the phase we call scientifically terminal detection phase. This phase requires harnessing the energy, soft landing in this phase and then remaining in that phase. These needs to be explained further in more details. From times immemorial, Sanatan consciousness has looked at moon differently. Moon along with its 16 phases is symbolized as human mind. Human mind wavers and remains uncertain to make any definite decision. Krishna in Bhagavad Gita appears as an awakened being who has transcended human mind and all its waverings. Only such a mind has not only understood the wavering of human mind but has transcended as well. We can really share his presence and enormous force for you to transcend the gravitational pull created by the sex center. This is reflected as the eternal message of Bhagavad Gita to Arjun. Once you transcend the gravitational pull, your path of awakening is easy. This is the reason moon is used as a symbol on the forehead of Shiva. Shiva symbolizes highest state of awakening or Buddhahood. 
only such a buddha mind can explain deeper realms the question arises because of our continuing conditionings and misunderstanding your sex act and the tantric sex act are basically different your sex act is a really is to relieve it is just like sneezing out a good sneeze the energy is thrown out and you are unburdened it is destructive it is not creative it is good and therapeutic it helps you to be relaxed but nothing more it cannot help you to reach the state of bliss the tantric sex act is basically and diametrically opposite and different it is not to relieve it is not to throw the energy out it is to remain in the act without any release without throwing your energy out to remain in the act merge just as the beginning part of the act not the end part this changes the quality the complete quality is different thereafter this change from normal sex act and tantric sex act is known as rough breaking phase how long you will remain in this phase will depend on your determination and cooperation of your partner this phase is the beginning and like any other beginning it is very difficult and hence known as a rough breaking phase it is through it is rough in its approach and also it it is trend breaking phase proper understanding of this phase needs two things remember there are two types of climaxes or orgasm first type of orgasm is known you reach to the peak of excitement then you cannot go further and the end has come the excitement reaches to a point where it becomes non voluntary the energy jumps into you and goes out you are relieved or unburdened the load is thrown and you can relax and sleep you are using it like a tranquilizer it is a natural tranquilizer a good sleep will follow if your mind is not burdened by religion otherwise even the tranquilizer is destroyed if your mind is not burdened by religion only then can sex be a tranquilizer for you if you feel guilt even your sleep will be burdened you will feel depressed and you will start condemning yourself and you will begin to take oaths that now you will not indulge in sex anymore then your sleep will become a nightmare afterwards if you are a natural being not too much burdened by the religion and morality only then can sex be used as a tranquilizer enough for now